Hi, I'm going to show a quick demo of Module Federation Sport within uh, NX and Angular. So we've got a few generators that will help scaffold out a Module Federation config and a micro front end in general. Uh, so I've started with an empty workspace and I have added the normal Angular package. So the first thing I'm going to do is generate an application. I'm going to call host one. And we're going to say it's a micro front end application, and we're going to give it a type of host. So a host application with a module for federation context is an application that will import from remote up import bundles from remote applications. So we will set that this is a host application, and that we want to set up a written configuration. <laughs> So the written configuration makes it easy to actually work with remote bundles, but it's not necessary. We can see how having remote a uh, written application set up makes it easier though. So well, let's install some extra dependencies. Let's take a look at what was generated. So we've got our standard output of a host application, our uh, standard application generator output, sorry. But there's two extra files. We've got a Webpack config and a Webpack production configuration. Right now, the production config just re-exports the Webpack config, but it can be used to uh, modify mappings to the URL that your remotes will be served at. We'll see that in a bit more detail in a minute. So this Webpack configuration imports the module federation plugin from Webpack, and it also imports Manfred Stayer's Webpack uh, plugin for module federation. That a uh, plugin that he created allows us to use libraries with an NX as we normally would, but can share them between our remote bundles that we import dynamically at runtime. So in this sense, we can also say that we want Angular Core, Angular Common, and all our packages to be a singleton between both the host bundle and the remote bundle. That would be good for maintaining state between a shared service, for example. We also update our workspace to say that we have a new uh, build executor, which is a Webpack browser. And we will say that the serve will use Webpack server. Both of these allow for a custom Webpack configuration to be passed to the default Angular browser builder. So now that we have our host application set up, I'm going to generate and our application this time is going to be a remote application. We'll call it remote one, and we'll give it the micro front end type of remote. We'll pass it a host, which will be host one. And we will say that we want to serve at a port for 4201, which will be different to the host application. It just allows for easier, uh, better developer experience. So if we take a look at what was generated for remote application, we can see that most of this is just a standard uh, application generation again. There's a new module we call remote entry module, which is just very basic setup with a runner configuration and an entry component, which will allow you for developers to have a quick access to an entry point and to the remote bundle from the host bundle. Uh, I, this would be intended to be completely replaced with something more useful, depend on the use cases, but it just allows for an easier setup to start with. The Webpack configuration is mostly the same. It's got the same imports, the same shared mappings, but th there is a slight difference in that it sets up a name and a file name. This file name will be a file that Webpack generates at uh, build time, which gets hosted by the server and allows for any host application to look for this entry file and resolve the exposed bundles correctly and import them correctly. So we expose a default module, which will point to that remote entry module that I just, sorry, that I just showed. And our workspace will do two things. It will have the same builder as the host, which is the Webpack browser and the same serve, which will be the Webpack server. 
to close we pass that host op option the host will have a new target called serve mfc which is a run commands uh, executor which basically adds a bunch of commands that we can run to quickly serve all the remote applications that the host application relies on so because our remote entry module is a rooted module, we can very easily see that within our host application, we can just import that as a, a lazy loaded module, which we can root to. So the application generator will do this for us when we pass a host to the remote application. And then that allows us to very, very easily route between the host application root to the remote applications exposed bundle. So if we add a router link here, point to the remote one. And then we run serve MFB target for host. Uh, so it's one. We can see that it will serve both host one and remote one. So if we then go to your local host, we can see that we've got the remote one link. We click on that and we can see that it has loaded the correct bundle from the remote application. And we can verify that by looking at the network tab. We can see that that bundle, the remote, uh, app remote entry module, was actually fetched from 4201 and um, ported dynamically and then rendered the component was rendered correctly. That's a, a, that shows how easy it is to set up remote applications that are consumed by host application with the generators for module federation 